Visual Basic includes capabilities that make writing code much easier. In this demonstration, you will learn about the automatic code completion features. As you watch, keep in mind that if you prefer to work without utilizing these features, you can individually select ones to turn on and off. The first feature we'll look at is the Auto List Member. Here's how it works. When you type an object's name into the code window and enter a period after it, Visual Basic will present a list of the object's properties and methods for your selection. This saves you some typing, but more importantly, it helps you enter code correctly. Making your selection is easy. Just use the arrow keys to move up or down in the list until you find the item you want. When you found it, you can press either the tab key or the space bar to have Visual Basic enter the selected item from the list into the code window. If you use the space bar, a space will be added to the end of the entry. Another useful feature is the Auto Quick Info. With Auto Quick Info, you don't need to remember the names and data types of arguments when you enter the procedure in the code window. The Auto Quick Info pop-up provides you quick visual access to the various arguments and their data types when you type in a procedure call. Here's an example. Notice that the message box function not only shows the arguments, but also bolds the current argument. As previously mentioned, you can selectively turn these features on or off as you wish. To do that, click the Tools Option menu item. Next, on the Editor tab, clear the Auto List Members box or the Auto Quick Info box. Notice that other options can be turned on or off as well, such as the Auto Syntax Check option. So, in this demonstration, you learned about some of the automatic code completion features included with Visual Basic to make writing code easier.